Welcome back everybody, part two, part two of going through this truckload. We got one, two, three, four, five, we got five done on the first episode. If you missed out on that, I'll make sure to put the link in the description below. So let's get into this one right away. Santino Morella, elites, a lot of elites in here. Um, yeah, I like this one. This one is the, it's pretty cool because, I mean, I've seen a lot of people use this for custom fodders, like custom curt angles. That's what I ended up using from, for my curt angle. Just a lot of good parts for it. I mean, it's got the right boots, but overall, for Santino figure, just using it as a Santino Morella figure, awesome figure. I believe this box has the complete set on this, so let's look for the rest. Here's the Cody Rhodes, yep. So it looks like the continuation of this series. Here's his uh, white attire. This is really cool. This is what I ended up using for my anti-venom custom. You just grab some uh, nail polish remover and get that red off. But again, if you want to use it for, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to take this one out, right? Because we're going to try to keep these mocked for sure. Because these ones are cool. These boxes, they just don't make them. I'm telling you, they don't make them like the way they used to. No, I sound like an old timer. And you really can't be an old timer when it comes to Mattel. Just because, I mean, they've only been around for... What was it, eight years, ten years now? Uh, going on ten? I could be wrong, give or take. So here's the Christian, yellow attire, really awesome. Edging Christian. Man, those guys are awesome. Here's CM Punk. This is the Build-A-Figure. The Paul Heyman Build-A-Figure. This is exclusive to Toys R Us. And here's the Broski. Look at this. The Internet Champion. It even comes with the Internet Championship belt. That's freaking sweet. This is so cool, the glasses, everything about this figure. Oh, there's uh, Antonio Cesaro with the U.S. champion, American flag. Really cool. Here's Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm the tag team champ. No, I'm the tag team champ. You guys remember that? We used to do that with Kane. You used to argue about who was the tag team champion. Technically, they both were. Here's uh, Brock Lesnar. It comes with some solid steel steps back there. Looks like he's the remaining piece to the Paul Heyman the torso. So, definitely important piece. I mean, you need the torso, right? The man needs to eat. Here's the miss. Awesome! See, the logo that he used to wear. I mean, very similar to what he has now, except there was a scratch logo. I don't see Miz in this head scan. I don't know. I just... It looks more like... Uh, I can't think of the actor's name, but it definitely doesn't look like the Miz. So let's go. Let's get through the other boxes. See, so yeah, totally. There's a lot to go through. We got we got a full cash. I think we still got like at least 15 back there. This is a pretty good sized truck. So going through these is definitely going to be a journey. And I appreciate you guys joining me on the journey. I mean, this is always fun, right? Unboxing videos, going through old figures, elites, of course, right? They got to be elites. They got to be Mattel. They got to be elites. I think we've gone through all of the jacks. I mean, we didn't go through the boxes. If you guys really want to go through the jacks boxes, let me know. I mean, I'm sure we could still do it, right? I'm sure we still got some jacks lovers. But again, for the most part, mainly Mattel. Next box. Here's the next one. All right. Yeah, so here's the old battle packs. Here is John Cena with Randy Orton back when they were feuding. Let's see. We got... Ooh, the Nexus. David Otanga, Michael Tarver. Here's an old TNA battle pack. This one, oh, yeah, that's right. This one is uh, signed by the Hulkster himself. And there's the animal, Abyss. This guy was a monster. Kurt Angle. Look, we even got Kurt Angle in here. This one's awesome. I think this is Mr. Kennedy, or is it Mr. Anderson? Mr. Anderson got the screaming head scan on Kurt Angle. Can't wait to get the Mattel version, the bald, the bald Kurt Angle. I think that's the one that I'm mainly excited about. Here's the old APA battle pack jacks. This one just takes me back to the days. Look at that. This is back when they used to be able to put beer cans with the figures. It even has a cooler. That's awesome. <laughs> Keep those uh those cold ones nice and cold, right? So here, yeah, NWO Scott Hall. Here is Kevin Nash. It looks like he comes with some kind of pipe. What is that? I can't even tell. It looks like it's definitely metal. It's definitely steel. It's got to be a pipe. What else would it be, right? What would he, he... I mean, he could come with a spray can. I know that the new ones come with... Or the new Kevin Nash has come with a spray can. All right, next box. Next box, man. Whew, I'm telling you, this is definitely a journey. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt. Oh, here's Doink the Clown. Speaking of journeys, look at this. The the clown himself. Oh man, this one was 
Oh, it's still cool. It still stands out. I mean, this figure just, it's so colorful. Like, you want to make a custom it, and there's a lot of good parts you could use for that. Here's Bam Bam Bigelow, his first run in the Legend series. Ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels, the Hotbreak Kid. Here is Tito, Tito, shelf form and T, or target Tito Santana. Whoever thought this man would have shell form for, I mean, you can still find like 10 of them. You go to your local Target, you're going to find that one. You're going to find at least 10, 15, maybe even 20 of them. Here's the old flashbacks of Papa Shango. They did end up coming out with the, uh, what was it? It was, it was like a double pack. It was him and Ultimate Warrior. Here's Hulk Hogan. Oh, hey, look at this diesel. This diesel right here. This one is awesome. So they did just make the battle pack one based on this attire with Shawn Michaels, but this is the only elite. Look at this. You can even see like the spider tattoo in there. This is so cool. It comes with the vest, that wingtip belt. Man, this is an awesome flashback. This is definitely one of my favorites. And here's the rest. Oh man, that is so cool. Look, if you look at the bottom, it looks like he was supposed to originally be like the red attire. Oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, no, hold on, take that back. So this one, oh, that's right, it had Diesel and Kevin Nash, the red attire. So we got to find it. I know it's in here. So we definitely got to find it. That's uh, mission number one as of right now, to find Kevin Nash, right? Because who's that? Is that fake Diesel? No, I'm just kidding. That's not fake Diesel. That's the real Diesel. I think it was Kane. I'm pretty sure it was Kane that played as uh, as fake Diesel. You guys remember that? He ended up dressing up He because Kevin Nash ended up going to WCW. And they needed somebody to continue the name, right? So what they ended up doing is that they ended up using uh, Kane. Because he, he had the right height. I mean, he looked abs he doesn't look anything like him. But they thought, hey, you know, he's seven feet tall. Let's try it, right? Next box. Oh, here's our truth I believe this is his first Elite. Elite Series 15. Yeah, this is so cool. What's up? What's up? Come on. You know what got you? Here's Chris Jericho with the glow in the dark jacket. So cool. I don't know about that head scan. What is he doing with his mouth? I can't figure it out. But there's uh, Chris Jericho. Here's the the king. Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, JR, I can't believe what's about to go down tonight. We got some of the best competitors going to competition. Here's the honky tonk man. The honky tonk man. There's that guitar right there. So cool. Uh... I do have this one loose. That's the same guitar that I ended up using for the Drifter. Just works perfect. Oh, one of my favorite Dolph Ziggler elites. Look at this. Elite Series 19 Dolph Ziggler. So, so, so cool. Ooh, man, that vest. I've seen a lot of people use that for the Austin Aries. Austin Aries had a very similar vest. Here's Randy Orton in the Viper shirt. Elite Series 16. So cool, man. I'm telling you, these old elites just... Bring back all the memories. Here's The Rock. The Rock says, The Rock says, Know your role and shut your mouth. Comes with the sweats, the shirt. It looks like it's a, like a tank top shirt. That's sweet. Microphone. Too bad he covered up that tattoo. For a second there, I thought he was giving us the middle finger. So right here, Elite Series 14. And the big guy, Ryback. There it is. Look at that. Definitely prefer the new style Ryback torso. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to go with this torso choice. We will continue the rest of these boxes. We got to do a part three, right? If you guys want to continue seeing this, let us know. We'll definitely be more than happy. We still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got at least 15 left. So yeah, just let us know and we'll continue this. This is a lot of fun going to these. Until next time, everybody.